we're back here with Justin from Wilhelmina Brown to talk about what I think is one of the hardest challenge, the interview challenge. Now, interviewing can be very difficult for some people. It was hard for me. It takes some time to get used to. We just watched the videos. How yeah. do you think the finalists did? Uh, there were some very good parts and there was some uh, not so good parts of the interviews. And it is. It's one of the most difficult things you can do. People think it's easy just to ask questions and right. wait for answers, but it is a lot more to that. Sure. Um, but overall, they did a decent job. Um, to start off, Craig, uh, I thought he had a very good intro. Um, I think his questions were a little bit generic. I think he could have gotten a little bit more in depth and done a little bit more research on it. Um, I think he had a really funny moment when talking about the ice skating, and mm -hmm. that's always good with interview when you can actually relate to somebody right. and actually have some sort of banter off of them. It, that's a good way to actually be able to get to know them more right. and to get them to feel comfortable and open up about things that are more than just the generic. So I think he did a really good job with that, um, and he did a great outro. So right. that was really nice. He really seemed to know his stuff. With Mandy, she looked very uncomfortable, especially at the very beginning. Um, when people are uncomfortable or nervous, a lot of times what they can do is step on people's answers. As an interviewer, you want to ask the question, get it out of the way, and let them answer you, and you need to listen to them uh, without letting your own nervous uh, jump on their answers. So you don't want to do that, which she did a lot of that. Um, I like how she got personal with the questions. Um, not a lot of people in Texas know a lot about hockey. This might be a good way to, for people to get to know the player and get to uh, maybe even want to go and experience what hockey is here in Texas. Right. Well, see, that's where we kind of differ. Because I know you, I, I said that, you know, I wanted to hear her talk a little bit more about hockey. I felt like she gave one generic question about hockey and then left it all the personal stuff about Austin. And I was like, well, what about hockey? We're talking about hockey. But you like that. Yeah, I mean, look. I can turn into uh, a sports station to learn about hockey. Right. I'm going to go to the CW. I want to know more personal. I want to get to know the people. Right. I think she did a really nice job with that. And see, that's where you differ. Everybody's <laughs> got different opinions, so it's not necessarily a right or wrong way to do it. And, you know, everybody's going to like interviews for different reasons. So Sage, I think, really struggled with this. She struggled in week number one. She seemed very timid and insecure. It carried over again today. Um, she's just not sure of herself. Again, she was stepping on the answers. For me, uh, the, it, it definitely didn't work. I, I think that she, out of everybody this week, struggled the most. Angelica was the next person. Um, she had her phone in her hand at the very beginning of the interview. I guess she had her interview questions on her phone, but you can't be having a phone in an interview. Right. That looks very unprofessional. So that's what first struck me. Um, she had a very weak intro. It didn't seem prepared at all. Um, she had a very awkward start. She talked way too much. She didn't ask the questions and then let them answer it. She just decided that she wanted to talk through most of it and made it more about her than the person she was interviewing. So I think she really struggled with that. Um, she had some good questions, though. She did prepare some good ones. When she finally got to the point, it, 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 they were good questions. She could have just made them more concise. And Julia, um, she had kind of a weird high five at the very beginning. I would have cut that out, but that's not a huge deal. I right. mean, that's something you can, you can talk to her about. Um, she did the best job of the research. She was the most professional out of anybody that you had there. Um, she knew interesting things that made me actually want to listen. I wasn't bored watching her. I, I want, this was an interesting question she was asking. Um, she had great conversation with them. It felt very natural, mm -hmm. and uh, the player felt really comfortable with her. Um, I love that she knew about the game when she talked about, like, uh, actually watching that game, she, it seemed like she was genuinely interested in it, and it made me interested in what she was talking about. Um, and she had a great outro. I think she did the best by far. I think Craig did a very nice job. If he would just step it up a little bit, he could be there. He could be the best one. But again, he's got to step it up. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. You got Justin's opinion. You got my opinion on how our finalists did in their interviews, which are very tough to do. But next week, our CW star finalists are filming their first commercial.